Hello again, everybody. I'm Warren Smith, and here's what we're bringing you in the current issue of World Magazine. Today's news, Christian views, World Magazine. Now, if you're a regular reader of World, you know that our editor-in-chief, Marvin Alasky, is a big fan of baseball. He recently returned from Arizona, where he took in some of the Cactus League preseason games. He profiles two young players he met there, players who are not afraid to share their Christian faith in the dugout and with the media, Justin Masterson of the Cleveland Indians and Jeremy Affelt with the San Francisco Giants. Now, one of the great things about preseason baseball is the accessibility of the players. So Marvin was able to get up close and personal with these guys, and he brings us profiles that you're not likely to see anywhere else. On our entertainment and media pages, we take a look at Kirk Cameron, the former child TV star who's gone on to leading roles in such faith-friendly films as Fireproof. But his performances on screen have been recently overshadowed by comments he made in the national media, including Pierce Morgan's interview program, where he defended biblical standards regarding sexual behavior. Now, Pierce and others in the mainstream media have tried to trip him up, but they've had a tough time getting Cameron to stumble. I mean, after all, he's had a lifetime in the spotlight. He's pretty media savvy, and he knows scripture. So he's emerged as an articulate spokesman for Christian values in an often hostile environment. Our movie and entertainment editor, Megan Basham, has the latest chapter in Kirk Cameron's remarkable story. There's one story in the current issue to which I want to draw particular attention. I mentioned to you a few weeks ago that World Journalism Institute recently did an in-depth journalism and worldview training program in Africa. That training was led by our editor, Mindy Bells. In this issue, we have a story by a graduate of that course. Now, you may have heard about the viral video, Kony 2012. It's had more than 100 million views online. The video purports to show how Joseph Kony, the rebel leader of the Lord's Resistance Army, is terrorizing Uganda. But one of the problems with the video is the fact that Joseph Kony fled Uganda six years ago, and many now suspect the producers of the video are circulating it for financial gain. Eddie Semakula, one of the World Journalism Institute graduates, brings us the story from Kampala with a unique and insightful African perspective. Oh, and one other thing, we've got a special place on our website where our web editor, Mickey McLean, has aggregated all of world's coverage of the current election cycle. And not just news, but analysis, commentary, and even our radio reports. Literally scores of stories. Now, if you're a political junkie like I am, this is mission control. But if you're not, you still might need someone to help you make sense of the chaos so you can be a responsible steward of your vote. This site is for you, too. Just go to worldmag.com and click on the Campaign 2012 tab at the top of the page. Well, thanks for spending a few minutes with me to hear about the current issue of World. And again, don't forget about our webpage, worldmag.com. You'll find daily breaking news there, as well as regular commentaries from great writers like Dr. Anthony Bradley, Andre Sue, and Cal Thomas. And you'll also find a link to our weekly radio program, The World and Everything in It. Again, that web address is worldmag.com. Well, all right, everybody, thanks so much for joining me once again, and I'll see you next time. World. Today's news, Christian views.